By the time he was eight years old, he had lost five siblings. At nine, he was left for dead, only to awaken from a coma paralyzed. But he recovered from a seemingly hopeless state of body and mind. Bradley Quick is here to share with you his path from Skid Row junkie to successful talk show host, author, mentor, and motivational speaker. If you're looking for a better tomorrow, if you want a positive evolution, or if you're in need of a quick fix, you're in the right place. Now kick back and get ready for the top experts in the field of body, mind, mind, and soul. Here on the Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, <laughs> motivation. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Quick Fix here on Cool Change Radio, your home for positive answers and a place for you to find that life and health solution you've been looking for. We're right here right now to inform you of the latest life enhancement techniques in many different areas, including health, fitness, nutrition, psychology, finance, weight loss, and a whole variety of other wonderful and life-empowering topics. Today's show is brought to you by the Cool Change Foundation. If you're fond of our show, if we brought you some breakthrough solutions <laughs> or just want to help us stay on the air, please donate today. <laughs> Come on, think about it. When we make life better for mom and dad, we make life better for the children. When we make life better for the children, we make life better for the entire family. Everybody wins and it's 100% tax deductible. No donations ever too small. You can donate right now at www.thecoolchangefoundation.org. Having too much fun here today. Remember, it's time for Cool Change with the Cool Change Foundation. Hey, welcome everybody. I'm silly as a boy here today. My name is Bradley Quick. I'm here to discuss solutions with you. I'm here to talk with you about having a better life experience and becoming the best you that you can be. Our guest today is Dr. Philip Dimbo, author of... Real Purpose of Parenting, the book you wish your parents had. Hey, doctor. Doctor, I, I went through that kind of fast. Are you ready for a good show today? Absolutely. All right. Well, sit tight. We'll be right with you. Fair enough? Okay, great. All right. Now, that camera right there. Okay. Thank you all for joining us <laughs> on CoolChangeRadio.com, BradleyQuick.com, and on Facebook. As you know, you can catch our live and recorded video shows and interviews on those sites and many other websites. And as always, you can listen to our archived audio interviews, hundreds of them. Your favorite topics, favorite experts, and favorite personalities at BradleyQuick.com. Later, my buddy, Paul Madrano, former Mr. Universe, will be here with us talking about fitness and healthy living in our Getting Fit with Mr. Universe segment. That's all going to happen shortly, so stay right where you are. Now, make a note. If you'd like to chime in with a question for my guest today or myself, just pick up the phone and dial 818-824-9123. That's 818-824-9123. That's 818-824-9123. All right? He shows simple family turnaround strategies that uh, reframe the real purpose of parenting and give each, gives each family and child their own salvation, a la mode and a cup of tea. No, that was my own additive there. <laughs> <laughs> jo- joining us now on the Quick Fix on Cool Change Radio and TV Network is the author of The Real Purpose of Parenting, the book you wish your parents had read, Dr. Philip Dimble. Doctor, welcome back. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you here. Now, we, I know you're, you've got a couple of workshops coming up, and we'll get into that right yeah. now. But what is, what is uh, before we get into the purpose of parenting, what is your perception of uh, your, your idea of what real parenting is about? Well, you know, for me, the real purpose of parenting is, speaks to that parents today have to make some real changes. We have to start looking at whether or not we are raising performers or are we raising people? Are we raising What's children? What's the difference between performers and people? Well, you know, kids are growing up to be great A students, and they're going off to college, they're doing all kinds of nice things, but they're not growing up necessarily. What neighborhood have you been hanging out in? Well, <laughs> not necessarily growing up with a conscience, not yeah. necessarily growing up as full beings that, that experience there that their no moment. no authenticity? Well, it's, it's, it's a discard of their authenticity. It's a, an avoidance of their authenticity. We are not being raised anymore to feel anything. We are being raised to succeed or have an outcome. And when you do that, you are underdeveloping the psyche. You're underdeveloping the conscience and where things um, need to sort of uh, blossom for, for you to have the experience. An example of that, as we all know, is what happened on that Rutgers campus when those kids played that practical joke on that young man and the, he killed himself. Yeah, he was a man. homosexual right. and he didn't come out of the closet yet. He didn't tell his family. Right. And they the put it all over YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, these are high-achieving kids, right? These are kids who are uh-huh. out there and they're performing. They're going to become our lawyers, our doctors, our Indian chiefs. But what's the problem here is that they didn't think what they were doing was going to affect somebody else. Now, we see that at every age. The older woman who was the bus 
monitor up in upstate New York where those middle school kids taunted her to the point where she was being abused by 13-year-old kids. Again, these are students. These are kids growing up. They're going so off to school. So we're not supposed to be. We're not supposed to be our, our our friends. Our friends to our children. We're supposed to be parents, right? Well, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to understand what we're doing. And I think so many and and we're not doing this intentionally. But life is so crazy in in our culture that we just get through the day. So we're becoming numb. And as adults, if you become numb, if your greatest success for the day is getting the cleaning done, food in everybody's belly, and everybody's homework done, and everybody bathed into bed so that you can crash and fall asleep yourself, just so you can get to a weekend, so you can get everybody to their soccer game, you're not living. You're just existing and you're just surviving. But whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm missing something here. Okay. When, when, if I'm going to take the responsibility and, and get married and, and have children, mm-hmm. right? Isn't my job? I, I lost self, didn't I? Well, didn't I lose self? I mean, not at all. I mean, what you do is you extend self. You well, you retask you, self. Well, you're talking about ro- the difference between roles and truth. The truth of me is something my children need to see. And if I am just performing and getting through my day, they're just going to perform and get through their day. My children need to know as much about who I am as a person and my feelings and my thoughts, not just in regards to who they are and disappointment or success or, or pride or all of that, uh-huh. but, but in terms of what does it mean to experience something? Every thought has a feeling before it. Every single thought has a feeling before it. And we don't even know what those are. We don't take the time to do that. Many of us are on pursuit of that. Many people listening today and watching in on your show are people who believe in what we're talking about. But let's talk about the millions of people out there who are more interested in getting through traffic than they are in feeling a moment. And that's a concern I have. It's a big concern. It's why I'm on your station. It's why we're doing all the things that we're doing out there. Because we want people to recognize there has to be a balance between self and the roles we have in our lives. One of them being parent, another one being a wage earner, another one being a spouse, another one being a friend, a son. You've really thought about this, haven't you? I try to live this. Oh, I love it. I, that makes me excited. Uh, so what, what, what's the ba- book based on? Really? The book is based on a real concern that we're raising kids not to feel their feelings anymore. And so I believe, and the title of the book is called The Real Purpose of Parenting, is that we have to repurpose ourselves. We have to go back and say, all right, what is the family culture that either I or me and my partner, the, the, the parent of, of the children, what do we as a couple, what do we as an individual... What is the family culture going to look like? We are in an election time right now, and everyone is fighting over what is the culture of our country. And we have one side who believes it's all about making sure we're successful in business. We have another person who's out there saying, no, this is about the real struggles and the real feelings and the real identity of each individual. A real socialist versus a real... uh... A a capitalist. And so what we have there is polarization. Well, I think each individual family is polarized the same way. We are as concerned about keeping up with the Joneses and the Smiths and the Schwartzes. I hate those Joneses, Smiths and Schwartzes. Yeah, you know, they never pick up their yard. It's horrible. But (laughs) And and then on the other side, we're out there and we're wanting to make as much as we can and have success. And, you know, I noticed here in L.A. everybody has a German car, so you try to get yourself a German car. Except me. Except me, too. But it's two of us. Yeah, that's two of us. So everybody else seems to have a <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody else. But that's my point is that my book is all about not following the everybody else's because it's not everybody else. Right. The authenticity, as I, as I said before, has got to come out. And well, we're too busy, chase, like you said, chasing the Joneses. Well, the, the key to authenticity is understanding that not as a concept but as an experience. The experience of authenticity happens when you sit on top of a mountaintop in meditation. But we can't always go to a mountaintop and sit in meditation. We have to find a way to feel that feeling as I'm sitting here talking to you, as the, the people listening are sister, working. Sister and, Priya, who's uh, uh, actually got a uh, teaches in one of the uh, 
ashrams around in town right. or something. She's got a she have a show on here on Mondays. Starting oh, good. in a couple of weeks. She talks about walking meditation. Meditation with your eyes with your eyes wide open. So you actually meditate through your day. Absolutely. Really kind of cool. Well, you know, I do a lot of work with professional athletes and they need to be completely in the moment of their experience in order to perform. And in order to do that, they have to walk and meditate. They have to have something in their head that keeps them grounded to their experience when there's 400 million people and other things going on all around them. But one of the beautiful things about the human condition, uh -huh. Bradley, is that everybody is born universal. We are not born in judgment. We are not born in no. comparative analysis to other people. Uh -uh. We are born where the love. complete experience is love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we lose that when we begin to grow up in judgment. And as soon as we start comparing our children to other people, to other standards, a good student, a bad student. You know, Johnny is crawling at three months, but my child's not crawling at three months. When we start doing that kind of thing... Comparing, comparing. Comparison, yeah. comparative analysis yeah. is the hardest part of judgment because it's all around us. Okay, well, this, this workshop you're talking about is coming up the 22nd of September, and I'm going to talk more about that when we come back. Is that fair enough with you? Absolutely, sir. All right, my friend. I got music's going to start, and here we go. You ready? Stay put, everybody. If you got a habit you want to change, what is it you want to do differently to better your life experience? Hey, well, we just might have the answers for you right here, so stay put. Remember Dr. Dimbo, the author of The Real Purpose of Parenting, a book that you wish your parents had read. He's an expert in helping parents raise amazing kids, one who makes good decisions, a life, and lives a life with integrity and strong conscience. This is the Quick Fix on Cool Change Radio. We're broadcasting live from Freddy Siegel Studios. I'm Bradley Quigan. Oh, I got it. I got to go right now. Today, experience the Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change. Written by Bradley Quick, author, producer, motivational speaker, and host of the award-winning radio talk show, The Quick Fix, with Bradley Quick on CoolChangeRadio.com. Bradley's passion for life is evident in his book, written so you can experience health, find your purpose, and have more effective relationships. Beating insurmountable odds, overcoming death and being paralyzed, Bradley fought his way back so he could help you conquer your struggles. Experience increased health, vitality, passion, and purpose in your life right now with the quick fix and read about Bradley's courage, ambition, and determination to live. Whether the issue is your thoughts, your physical body, or you just want to feel better and be happy, the quick fix, a simple process for positive change, will change your life. For only $19.95 plus shipping and handling, take positive action now and receive a free guided meditation CD with your order. That's a $20 value free with your order today. Go to BradleyQuick.com. That's BradleyQuick.com. Take control and begin feeling better now. Get the book and Free CD now at BradleyQuick.com. You're listening to The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. We'll be right back. This has never been attempted before by any treatment center, ever. Seasons Malibu is willing to take the risk because they understand quality care and evidence-based long-term recovery. Pay for only three months of treatment and stay until you are better, period. I'll say that one more time. Pay for only three months of treatment and stay until you are better. Enough is enough. Seasons Malibu wants to count your days of recovery, not the dollars in your pocket. No gimmicks, no guarantees, just straightforward world-class treatment until you are better. Do not hesitate. Call now. Seasons Malibu, 866-780-8539, 866-780-8539. That's Seasons Malibu at www.seasonsmalibu.com or 866-780-8539. 866-780-8539 for a free consultation and details 866-780-8539 hey welcome back you're listening to the quick fix on cool change radio your home for self-improvement and a place for positive change i'm bradley quick and we're right here right now to help you gain the upper hand in becoming all that you want to be this segment is brought to you by gapzip.com g-a-p-z-i-p.com they ask how do you think they say how you think is more important than what you think one of the chief reasons why many of you get stuck when you're trying to take the next step in your career or personal relationships. They're with us all the, all the time here on the show, but you can go learn, learn a new way to think by going to GapZip, G-A-P-Z-I-P.com, signing up, learn a new way to think, and catch them every second and fourth Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Second and fourth Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific on GapZip.com. All right, for those of you just joining us on Cool Change Radio, Facebook, or BradleyQuick.com, welcome. 
You can listen to this show again at hundreds of hours of other self-discovery content anytime you want by simply going to bradleyquick.com. There you can also sign up for our weekly radio show email reminder where once a week you'll receive the most recent interviews in the comfort of your own home or office. And then you can listen at your convenience. Make sure not to miss your favorite authors, experts, or personalities. You can also podcast any of our shows or just listen to us anytime from anywhere at www.bradleyquick.com. Bradleyquick.com. All right. Our guest today is Dr. Philip Dimbo, the author of The Real Purpose of Parenting, the book you wish your parents had read, uh, using simple strategies and analogies, such as a basketball parenting, uh, to help parents set boundaries. Dr. Dimbo has a way of making difficult situations easy to understand and handle for any parent. Dr. Dimbo, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Good to have you. Thanks. And uh, so you got this workshop coming up the 22nd of September, right? Absolutely. Here in Southern California, Sherman Oaks, California. Sherman Oaks, California at the Soul Blazing Sanctuary. Soul Blazing Sanctuary. Right. You can find it on our website at coachinglifestrategies.com. Coachinglifestrategies.com? Yes, sir. Is that co- that's not coachinglifestrategies.com? It's right? Coaching Life Strategies. Well, the Coaching Life Strategies. Oh, it's the. Yeah, well, it's www. That is www. Uh, three W's and dot. And then three W's and a dot. Coachinglifestrategies.com. Not the coaching. Not the. Oh, it's the coaching. Coaching life. Strategies.com. <laughs> <laughs> or you can contact Jenna, our producer, G E N N A, at not, coaching. That's not Jenna at coaching. That is Jenna at coachinglifestrategies.com. And she can give you all the information, get you signed up. It's 11 to 2. Uh, lunch is served, and you get a free book and uh, as a part of the deal. But really— the, Once the, you walk out of there with some new strategies. Well, right? the, that's the whole key to doing a live workshop about the book, is that I want people to bring their life situations. Let's talk about it in an intimate setting and let people learn some of the new strategies that they can take back to build a family culture, to create organization and structure in their life, and to be able to teach their child to be present in their own moment. And being present in their own moment is a really, really big deal. There's a guy named uh, Eckhart something that did a book Eckhart called Tolle. The Power of What? The Power of The Power now. of Now. Now. Yes, stay present to the moment. And I say all the time, we, we, we aren't only needing to stay present in the moment, but we have to have the courage to show up to the moment. Right, this moment is a gift. That's why they call it. The present. It, then, well, that's very nice. That's very nice. But I didn't we make don't. That up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm learning about you, you don't make up much of this. <laughs> it's no. somewhere in a song for you, but that's another story. Um, well, you know, we'll call that another song. It's just another song. If you read the New Earth, uh-huh. which is one of his books, uh, it's it really is remarkable. But um, there's a book out there called Everyday Zen. And in, in it, it talks about um, that true contentment. Uh, that's what um, um, Chaco Beck is the author. Um, but look it up. It's really, really quite a good book. And, and she really talks about that. In Zen, we talk a lot about that true contentment and happiness within oneself is not assigning your feelings to somebody else's behavior. And I think that's what happens when we do this comparative analysis with our children is that when we are in the moment with them and we take it and assign it elsewhere, what we're teaching our children is to not take any ownership of themselves. You know, you don't have to be in a good frame of mind to actually be content. What you have to do is be completely truthful without judgment of yourself about the moment that you're in. We don't always have successful you gotta, moments. you got to stay on top of your feet, right? You, but if you get off your feet, okay, you don't have to condemn condemn yourself to hell for it, right. and nobody else should be condemning you for, to to hell for it. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! We can't make up their minds. All we can do is make up our own. But mind. as a parent, we don't have to condemn our children to hell for it. Right. Okay. What we have to do is we have to stand, look at them, and let them get back up on their feet, and assume that they're going to, and not believe that it's tragic when a kid quits school when a kid is doing drugs when a kid is doing some of the things that are out there that we find tragic because somehow it represents us we're not repurposing our parenting and that's what this is all about it's really about us as parents not about our children okay so you're gonna you're gonna uh talk about raising a conscience while raising a child yes 
And you're going to talk about going underground. What is what's going underground? Well, going underground. If you, if, for all of you that that are out there listening, if you have teenagers, you, you know, we have developed this model and of thinking in our world that because you're a teenager, anything you do that you hide from your parents is normal, and so we consider that normal. But it really is underground behavior. What that means is that I don't feel safe enough with you to tell you the truth and live the truth of what I'm doing. So I hide. I give you one image, and I do things behind the scenes. And when you have a family dynamic where a child can be truth at all cost, which means the only true consequence is if you're untruthful with me. I had in my office a couple years ago a young man bring in his scale, his paraphernalia, all the stuff he uses because he was a drug dealer. And his parents thought just because he's a straight-A student and he has a clean-cut look that everything is fine. And he, they agreed to let it be truth at all costs, which means anything he does, he should be able to tell everybody about. We should be transparent. That's what a self-esteem is. That's what a conscience is. I should be able to say to you, this is who I am, and be truthful about it. Now, here's the point. If I'm embarrassed about what I'm doing, if I feel uncomfortable with what I'm doing, that's between me and me. And that's what we teach children is to be able to have their own conscience. If you don't feel good about what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it. Not because you're going to get in trouble, not because your parents are going to ground you from prom, but because it's if it doesn't feel right, it's not right. And that's living your truth. And if you live your truth and you can teach that, it's a fully developed conscience within the, the experience of the moment. Yeah, yeah, I was counseling a guy yesterday and told him almost the same thing. I said, if your grandmother wouldn't do it, if you couldn't report this to your grandmother, don't do it. That's right. Yeah, it's just it's plain and simple. That's right. But but what we have taught kids, as long as the picture of you looks good right. enough for our family picture, the facade, right. then we don't really care what goes on behind the scenes. And so, you know, there's a young man, it was a tragic story, it was about five or six years ago. His friend died of um, uh, drinking and driving, mm-hmm. a, a high school kid, was a um, great kid from a private school where it you know you have to be really smart to go there and all of that so the kids driving drunk isn't wearing a seatbelt, gets into a car accident and he he passes away and this other boy sets up this this big mission and it's called his last name was glick and it was click for glick and he, he put up these posters everywhere and he got the whole community our whole community involved in this which meant click your seatbelt. Be safe right. and drive. Well, what nobody knew about this young man was that he was sneaking out of his house at 3 o'clock in the morning, getting drunk and driving without a seatbelt. So he created one picture that everyone he thought was amazing. Ra rah, rah, yeah. Gets into a car yeah. accident and dies. What a bummer. It's a bummer. But the, 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 so the, the tragedy... How do, how, do we step over, how do we step over that barrier well, with, but, the, with the child? It starts in your home, Mm. and it starts with what you model, and it starts with with what you create as a family culture. In my world with my children, as an example, Uh everything is transparent. If you can't tell me, you shouldn't be doing it. If you can't be honest with who you are, that is something that you're lying to yourself. It's not about me. You, You don't need my permission or my lack of permission. What you need is for me to mentor you, to be your sounding board, to be your cheerleader, to be your support. What you don't need from me is to be your judge and jury. And when we get to a model of that... You know what's going on with your kid. I have a, a stepson, Adam, who's an amazing kid, very, very talented kid. But he was going away to college, and his mother and I were supporting him there so he can go away to college. Well, what he wasn't telling us is that he went underground, wasn't going to class, and eventually had to leave school. And I said to him, let's just live in truth without judging it. Let's just just take the year off. Don't do anything. Right. Do do Just be honest with what you're doing. And you know what he did for a year? What? Literally nothing. Okay? He sat on the couch while his friends were doing whatever. And one day he came to me and he said, Phil, all right, I'm done. I, 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 I want purpose. I want to do something. And then I said, all right, but going to college may not be it, right? I mean, let's just figure out what it is. You don't have to follow a script. Well, speaking of scripts, he wants to be a writer, wants to be a screenplay writer. So we found a program for him to check it out. He, I, I helped him get an internship at Second City in Chicago. He wrote for them for two weeks intensively, and they told him whether or not he's talented enough to go to college to be a screen 
play writer and they said go to go for it so now he's in college and he actually goes to class he does what he's supposed to do and in in, in finding finding your passion and purpose could be different for anybody as far as uh, the duration of time right absolutely and and what it is you do if i want everybody to understand that as parents we want our children whether they become president of the united states lawyers doctors indian chiefs or if they're the assistant manager at the Petco I love to take my little dog to, I want them to be proud of who they are, proud of how they represent themselves. Yeah, it's all about, being, it's all about customer service and smiling and make other, making other people smile. It's right? about being feeling good about who you are yeah. when you get up in the morning. Yeah. Well, I think that's a result of what we just talked about. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, this is good. Hang in there. We'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, great. All right, guys. This segment has been brought to you by the guys at GapZip.com. That's G-A-P-Z-I-P.com. They say thoughts are things. Thoughts lead to actions, which lead to results. So if you're sick and tired of your results, take a look at your thinking. Join them every second and fourth Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. on GapZip.com. Sign up, G-A-P-Z-I-P.com. This is Cool Change Radio, your home for self-improvement and a place to reshape your vision of what's possible. My name is Bradley Quick, and hey, we'll be right back. There are self-help seminars costing thousands of dollars guaranteeing miraculous transformations. There are compelling speakers and life-changing weekend experiences where you can walk on fire. They all deliver revelations that guarantee you'll come back for the more expensive revelations filled with even greater wonder next month on Fiji. We get addicted to positive, heartfelt, expensive theater. What we really need is a jump start, an awakening, someone who can give us a reminder that everything we need lies within. Through inspiration and practical knowledge, Dorothy Donahue helps people get grounded and motivated, inspired and energized. It's not just words and affirmations and the power of intention. It's a mindset brought about by a tangible, transcendental experience, an audiovisual, physical, spiritual experience that helps us realize we transform ourselves. We get tools to become the conscious co-creators of lives of unlimited potential. Find out more. Go to DorothyDonahue.com. You're listening to The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. We'll be right back. I'm Melody Beattie, author of Codependent No More. Seven times more Americans have hepatitis C than AIDS. I'm one of them. If you're one of the millions of Americans with hepatitis C and your doctors are treating you with interferon, then you're clearly aware of how your life has been turned horribly upside down. Backed by huge pharmaceutical monies, the medical community swears there's only one dangerous, disabling way to battle this silent killer. It's not true. There are alternatives, and they work. Triumph Over Hepatitis C is a book written by best-selling author Lloyd Wright, who fully recovered from this frightening disease. Lloyd is helping others to take charge of their lives and fight for their body's freedom from this crippling illness. His program is working for me. Call the people at Hepatitis C Free now at 866-HEP-C-FREE. That's 866-HEP-C-FREE. Don't become another medical statistic. Find out the truth about Hepatitis C and get your life back. Get your copy of Triumph Over Hepatitis C at Barnes & Noble and at HepatitisCFree.com. Call 866-HEP-C-FREE. All righty, welcome back. You're listening to Cool Change Radio, your home for self-improvement and a place to find your passion and purpose. I'm Bradley Quick, and we're right here right now to provide you with alternative solutions to the issues in your life. Here's a great solution for you. Uh, October 11th through the 15th, you can join me and a bunch of other great people, professionals in Teotihuacan, Mexico, 60 miles out of Mexico City at the the base of the Toltec Pyramids. And uh, what we do is walk to the Toltec Pyramids every single day and go through the five portals of your life utilizing the Toltec wisdom and the energies of the pyramids. It's an incredible journey. You should actually come and do it with us. Uh, Lee, my buddy Lee McCormick has a place down there called the Dreaming House. Where we stay, it's it's a huge walled-in place, a quarter mile from the pyramid. It's amazing. You should definitely have this experience at least once in your lifetime. I'm going in October, my fourth time consecutive going down there. www.spiritrecovery.com. That's spiritrecovery.com. Uh, click on the journeys link and, and join us on the pyramid. It's a great place to be. I will see you there. Okay, that's spiritrecovery.com. Spiritrecovery.com. Go there now and see me on the pyramids. All right, he shows simple family turnaround strategies that reframe the real purpose of parenting and gives each family and child their own salvation a la mode and a cup of tea. 
All right, joining us once again is Dr. Philip Dimmo, author of The Real Purpose of Parenting, the book you wish your parents had read. He's got a workshop coming up on the 22nd of September in Los Angeles, Sherman Oaks, California. Okay, doctor, welcome back. Thank you, sir. So your mic isn't on. Why, why isn't your mic on? I, didn't I don't know. <laughs> but thank you, Bradley, for letting me talk. You know, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for inviting you on the show. <laughs> so I read something interesting in this, uh, in this text here on the screen. It said, uh, not only do you give them the child their own salvation, a la mode, and a cup of tea, but it says you can show them a big turnaround. Is that just, it's 180 degrees of, uh, instead of walking into the, the, the dark, you walk into the light? You know, it's it's really it's a partnership, and and um, it, it the turnaround is that you you are on the same side of the table with your child. You're you're not you're not really creating them. You're you doing are this as honoring them, right? Right. It's honoring your child, and and you know, honor thy child as you honor yourself, and and understanding that you know it is really really hard to grow up as a child in today's world, much harder than I, when I was a kid. It's faster, it's intrusive, it's voyeuristic. There's so many things that we have to partner with our child about because if we don't, there's just so much coming at them that we, we, we can't control. So we have to trust them and we have to build that trust with them and we have to help them understand what it's like for us to be their parent, not just for them to be our child. And that's what the book is about. That's what the, the workshop's about. You know, what, what happens, people say, well, this seems so heady, and it doesn't seem like it's real actual, you know, strategies. Well, but reading it's one thing, but putting it into actions is something else. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. and that's the point. It's like, you know, people showing up to, the, to, to your journey to go in, in, in October is a lot different than just reading about it on the website Absolutely when you get back. Question, and, yeah. you know, you can't express to them what that experience is. Parenting from this model of parenting is a responsive approach rather than a reactive approach. But it, and that really speaks to what's happening as individuals today, is that we need to respond to our bodies, respond to our spirit, respond to our soul, respond to our partners, respond to everything around us, so we, we rather have, than reacting. Yeah, what we have to do is, is change, uh, change our automatic condition response, yes. our, our, our uh, reactions yes. to responses, which is actually a thought process takes place before a, you, you lunge out or you react, right? Well, w what happens is, is you actually experience the feeling before the thought. And there's a feeling before every thought. And, and instead of reacting to the thought first, then the feeling, if you go thought feeling, what happens is you go thought fear. And then fear is the, the sort of Killer. the core yeah. of, of all reaction. Sure. But if I go What's my feeling to this thought? What is it that I'm really feeling? An example of that for people to, to, that are listening in is that think about this. Think about when your child comes home and they're really disappointed. They, something happened in their life. And you want the details. You want the content of that. Gosh darn it. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened, the content, mm. rather than what did it feel like for you to go right. through that? If you start asking questions like, what did it feel like for you to How did that get through that? You, right, yeah. How did that affect you? What are you thinking now? <laughs> what are you feeling now that's leading to the thoughts? You must have been really, really scared in order to have done whatever it is you did. We all know what they did. We all know what the consequence of the behavior is that they're doing. That's not the issue. The issue is, what does it feel like to be you in the moment of what you're doing? The only way for children to stop isn't to be afraid of consequences. I'm going to be grounded for life because if I do this, that's compliance. What we want is to develop an internal voice, a self-regulatory voice that allows me to navigate myself through the world, making decisions, recognizing that not every one of them is going to be a perfect decision. But again, I don't have to condemn myself for it. So we want to internalize, internalize this voice in our children. By through uh, through not only uh, direction to them but through our own actions, right? Absolutely, I think th I think our actions are much more important, frankly, than our words. Sure, you know who we are. Do what, what we I stand do. What for. I say, not what I do. Right. Right. Do what sure. I say, not what I do. I tell people all the time is that I always will do 
exactly what I tell you I will right. do. Well, that, that's, that's honesty, isn't it? Well, that's it's re- courage. Yeah, it's, it's Be- real, too. Because when you say to the kid, if you do this, you're not going to the dance on Saturday night, and then... They do it, and then you're like, well, but, you know, their friends are going and everyone's going. If you don't hold, so it's everything. It's it's all of it. It's your work ethic. It's how you manage yourself. It's how you treat the people in front of you. They watch all of that. If I treat my wife in a way that is aggressive or dismissive. She slaps you, right? Well, <laughs> that's a whole separate uh, <laughs> That's a whole separate show. But, but what, what my child sees— uh-huh is that that is permissible. That is that even if I tell them it's not permissible, right. even if I ground them for sure, doing such sure. behavior, if I'm modeling it. Yeah, if you're modeling it, you've, you've given them approval It's the it. truth, yeah. right? It's what's right. really happening. So what, uh, what do you hope to really put forth in this, uh, this, um, this uh, workshop? Because I know on September 22nd in Sherman Oaks, at www. What is it? CoachingLifeStrategies.com. It's not CoachingLifeStrategies.com, is it? It's CoachingLifeStrategies.com. No, that's Jenna, G E N N A at CoachingLifeStrategies. If you want to just email Jenna, she'll get you all the information and sign you up. If you want to participate, the takeaway in walking out of there will be a different perspective on how to approach and take leadership of your family environment, not just take leadership of your children, not just techniques that are going to get them through a specific experience, but an overall attitudinal shift to empowering you to actually be a leader in your own environment. We are not leaders in our own environment. We are reactors to our environment. And the more we do that, the more our children become reactors in their environment, their conscience, which is that part of the psyche where your personality and your morality and your ethics all come together into one energy, that gets underdeveloped. Now, for, for all those people that uh, are far away and can't make that, okay. uh, that wonderful... Uh, your wonderful workshop, the 22nd of September in Sherman right. Oaks, California. Uh, they can go get your book, though, right? They can get my book. My book's right here. It is lift it up a little bit higher. The there Real you know. Purpose of Parenting. Move it forward, move it forward. And you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. You can go to any bookstore. It's out there all Real over the place. Real Purpose of Parenting. That's wonderful. Yeah, when we're doing really well, we're really pleased with the turnout and the, and the response that we're getting from the book. So we're thankful and want to thank everybody out there for that as well. That's fantastic. And uh, and you, do you have another book coming up? Uh, not right now. Right now we're kind of on tour with this one, but uh, the next one's going to be on relationships because I think we have to do the same for each other as we do for our children. Isn't that amazing? So, so in the last minute or so here, two minutes, is there something we haven't talked about that you'd like to bring up? Well, uh, you and I are doing a project together, and it's coming up next week. That's September 14th. That's September 14th, also at the Soul Blazing Sanctuary in Sherman Oaks, California. And that's from 6 to 8 p.m., and it is free to the public. And, um, again, you can check it out on your website or mine. It's called Life Without Labels. It's called Life Without Labels. And it really is stepping out of the boxes and the scripts that we have uh, found ourselves trapped in, our roles, our diagnoses, all of that, and having the courage to find that inner, that inner soul that we all have, that inner energy that's our truth. Yeah, it's passion and purpose, isn't it? Passion and purpose, baby. It's all love, huh? Yeah, well, it's all about the core of love uh-huh. and keeping that protected. Right, so that's uh, September 14th. September 14th from Life 6, without labels. 6 to 8 p.m. And, 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, at the sanctuary. And the great Bradley Quick's going to be there, so it can't be a be bad day. Absolutely. I've been invited by the great uh, Philip Dimbo. Well, then uh, it's a love fest, isn't it? <laughs> 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 that was a good one, Doc. I said jump that one. Dude. Yeah, it was nice. You smacked it right out of the park. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. So what? Uh, uh, you you're in in Southern California now. We're in Southern California now. We're here for the rest of the month doing these uh, wonderful projects. Uh, we'll be going back to St. Louis after that. Um, and we'll be touring the country doing these kinds of things, and there'll be workshops. So if you check out coachinglifestrategies.com, you'll see exactly where we are, when we're there. Maybe we're coming to a town near you. Uh, and, I've heard uh, that before. We're coming to a town near we're you. We're coming to a town near you. We're going to bring the roadshow um, to your town, and, um, you know, it's it's all good. It's um, And can they, can they uh, in 10 seconds here, can they uh, go to lifestrategies.com and sign up to get the latest updates and the uh, news? 
Absolutely. If you if you go to Coaching Life Strategies, you'll learn everything that you need to learn. Um, email me if you want directly um, with any questions that you might have on life issues, and uh, let's become friends and partners and carry on the journey. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we? <laughs> I told you, he does everything by song. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Come back, promise? Yes, absolutely. I love it. Thank you, sir. Stay put, everybody. You're in the right place. Cool Change Radio would like to welcome all our new talk shows. If you go to, to, to coolchangeradio.com, you can keep up on that stuff. We're coming right back with our Getting Fit with Mr. Universe segment. My name is Bradley Quick. You're listening to Cool Change Radio, your home for self-improvement here on your Solutions Radio Network. We'll be right back. Get quality goods for less from Bag City, serving all of Reno, Denver, Las Vegas, Bakersfield, Salt Lake City, Los Angeles, and many more cities. Up to 70% below retail on everything. Coin purses, wallets, organizers, purses, briefcases, backpacks, traveling garment bags, and ladies' and men's leather jackets. All discounted, all up to 70% below retail. Bag City, the best for less? Bag City serving all of Reno, Denver, Las Vegas, Bakersfield, Salt Lake City, Los Angeles, and many more cities. Contact Bag City at 818-990-1795. That's Bag City, quality goods for less money. Bag City, where 15% of all sales go to local charities. You can't beat that. You help local charities while getting quality goods at up to 70% below retail. Contact Bag City now at 818-990-1795. Contact Bag City today and get quality goods for less money. That's 818-990-1795. Shop Bag City to save. Shop Bag City for charity. Bag City, 818-990-1795. You're listening to The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. We'll be right back. Today, experience The Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change. Written by Bradley Quick, author, producer, motivational speaker, and host of the award-winning radio talk show, The Quick Fix, with Bradley Quick on CoolChangeRadio.com. Bradley's passion for life is evident in his book, written so you can experience health, find your purpose, and have more effective relationships. Beating insurmountable odds, overcoming death and being paralyzed, Bradley fought his way back so he could help you conquer your struggles. Experience increased health, vitality, passion, and purpose in your life right now with The Quick Fix and read about Bradley's courage, ambition, and determination to live. Whether the issue is your thoughts, your physical body, or you just want to feel better and be happy, The Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change, will change your life. For only $19.95 plus shipping and handling, take positive action now and receive a free guided meditation CD with your order. That's a $20 value free with your order today. Go to BradleyQuick.com. That's Bradley Quick. Com. Take control and begin feeling better now. Get the book and free CD now at BradleyQuick.com. Hey, hey, welcome back. Thank you all for joining us on Cool Change Radio, Facebook and BradleyQuick.com. As you know, you can catch our live and video recorded shows on Cool Change Radio and over 700 hours of my best audio interviews, your favorite topics are personalized at BradleyQuick.com. This is Cool Change Radio, as you all know, broadcasting live from Freddie Siegel Studios, your home for self-improvement and a place for positive change. I want you to know we're being supported in large part by one of my favorite charities, the Cool Change Foundation. The foundation was created to help families and all the children in those families. They do that by, by providing positive transformational life enhancement methods and techniques to those children's caretakers, usually moms and dads, so they may overcome negative habits and become better role models and providers for the kids. As a direct result, the children's home and family life becomes more nurturing and loving. It does every time. It's really a beautiful thing. You can help the Cool Change Foundation, help the mom, dads, and kids in your community, and you can do that right now. Simply send a donation of love and support directly to the foundation at www.thecoolchangefoundation.org. That's thecoolchangefoundation.org. Once there, simply click on the Support Us link at the top of the page, and you'll be helping us help the children. Again, that's thecoolchangefoundation.org. Click on the Support Us link. And help us today. Every penny counts. No donation is ever too small. And the children need your help. From all of us here at Cool Change Radio, we thank you for your support. All right, here's my buddy, uh, Paul Medrano. He's a great man, former Mr. Universe. He's a successful businessman, successful athlete. Just an amazing guy. Listen to what he says. You can improve yourself. Here we go. Here's Paul. <laughs> 